Good evening. My name is Helen. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for letting us come into your home at such a time. I'm a private investigator with the police department, okay? Um, I'm a criminal sketch artist, which is why I've come into your home today. Um, so basically I find out who the criminals are, also drawing them, and also the location of that person, okay? Now I understand that you were a witness at this criminal investigation, yeah. a theft and run. Yeah. I understand as well that uh, you were slightly hit by this man as well. Okay, so paramedics have checked you out to make sure everything's okay. Okay, so that's good. So you've been a little bit shocked right now. I'm sorry to hear. Um, but as you know, this is a very important investigation now and I must get all the answers that I can just to make sure that we do get the right man, okay? Okay. Now, I just want to ask a few questions about today, okay? The quicker we get through this, and the better we can all go to bed. Um, or whatever you do in your night. So I just want to ask about general questions about the day, okay? Okay, so I'm just going to write this down as well. Okay, so can you tell me what the date is today? Okay. Okay, great. And um, what's the time on the clock just over there? Okay. Alright. And do you remember the time of day that the, the theft began? Alright. Okay, so about 12.45. Okay, and what were you doing around there? Grabbing a coffee? Where was that at? Ah, okay. <laughs> they make a great mango smoothie. Mm -hmm. Now, was this female or male? Obviously we know, but we've got to double check. Okay, so... Male, okay. And how tall do you think this man was? Roughly estimate. 5 foot 11. Okay. Okay, and do you remember um, what clothes he was wearing? <laughs> Okay, yes. Mm hmm. Blue hoodie, jeans, black rucksack, red undershirt. Typical stereotype right there. They never learn, do they? Okay, so before we go any further, I'm going to start by drawing this person, okay? Describe what his facial parts look like. So round face. So oval shaped or okay. And um what about his hair? Do you remember what colour it was? Okay, so a dark brown, right? Any distinctive features on the hair? Sideburns? What about it? Here? Okay. Not too big. Alright. Okay, so what about his ears? 
quite pointy. Okay. Bushy eyebrows. This is the best that you can. And how far do you think that these eyebrows went for? Okay, okay. That, um, well, that's very distinctive. That's very good description. Are you sure? Okay. Right. I'm just starting to look a bit creepy here at this time. Somebody looked a bit like creepy. A bit evil. Oh. You know what they say about thieves? Like a ghost in the night. This was during the day, wasn't it? Do you remember what colour they were at all? Oh, I just got to write that down instead. What about the shape of the eyes? Like a tear duct, do you remember? It's okay if you don't. Very quick, we've got the other witnesses as well. But from what you're uh, subscribing, um, you're coming very close to what other people are saying. Um, and about the nose, any textures, any fullness of the nose, big, small, pointy, uh, sort of front ways. Okay. Right, so okay, small nostrils. And the nose distinctive, bit bony here, bit like mine or a bit more bony, okay. Oh, okay, so a bit of wrinkles under the eyes. Like tiredness or... Okay. Yeah, that's alright. Okay. Laughing lines? What about here and here? Thank you. Oh, I'm not good. I'm good, thank you. Um, don't move. Do you want any coffee at all? Okay. That's, that's right. That's fine. Won't be too long anyway, so. But thank you for your time again. Really much appreciate it. That line's here. Distinctive. Distinctive upper lip, do you? Okay. Okay. What about the lips? Okay. How far down do you think they are? Okay. That's what the other one said as well. They said it's a bit like far down, like what it shouldn't be. 
He definitely wasn't good looking, was he? How thin was his lips? Quite thin. We're getting a really good look at him at the moment. So it definitely looks like what the others have witnessed. Can you tell me anything more about facial features at all? Heated on their cheeks. Okay. got everything here. I just have another quick go. Um, what about his his eyelids? What were they like? Okay. Right. Was there any sort of redness in his eyes? Because he, he came quite close up to contact with you, didn't he? Yes. But bloodshot it doesn't necessarily mean that he'll be bloodshot when we find him, but it's always good to know. Yeah. Could have been under the influence of drugs. Who knows? Won't know until then. Um, any distinctive jawline, you know, like sharp? No. What about his weight? Quite thin. Alright. Trying to get his hair and his ears because you said they were a little bit pointy, so. And just sort of distinctly trying to find out what areas we need to look at. And there's been a lot of other robberies as well, so um, might be that. So, no, sort of not really, um, not really common in um, Edinburgh, but. You get it from from time to time, you know. Okay, so I think. Um, what about this? Um, can add some more stuff onto it as well. Um, do you think this is the guy, or um, something like that? Right. He does look a wee bit evil, doesn't he? Crinkle on the forehead, just a little bit. What's what? I mean, what sort of age do you think he was? About thirty-eight. Oh, Christ. Hmm. Well, I've worked with worse, that's for sure. So, we'll go a bit more distinctive with the eyebrows. Just at the top here. Ok, 
Okay. Well, I mean, I think that is the best we can do. Do you think roughly around that? Okay. Yeah. Well, I think that's our guy. Um, any other distinctive features you want to tell me about? Okay, where was that? The wee beauty spot of a visit, quite big. I guess it would have been like a mole or something, in the distinctive. Okay, okay, so that. Okay, great. Well, um, I will fax this off to our police department right now. Um, I'll just if anything goes with this one, I think that's great. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for letting us come over again. You've been very helpful. Uh, police investigators will be able to get in contact with you soon. Okay. No, you won't be in trouble. It's just a little courtesy call. Okie dokie then. Jolly nice to meet you. I have to put that down for a wee second. Jolly nice to meet you. My pleasure. Right then. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye.